What is going on, everybody? Saturday night, Dragon Ball Super, episode 104. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. Uh, last episode, we had a universe get erased. R.I.P. Gowasu. Gowas, however you want to pronounce his name. Universe 10 is gone, so we're two universes down. We have eight, so we have six universes left. Um, <clears throat> we saw Gohan make the last elimination. You saw how that hit him because he saw that the guy had a family and a kid just like him. Gohan looked really pissed. Kind of like he wanted to go against the Grand Priest or go against Zen. Or somehow like he wanted to stand up for what was going on. And a lot of people think that maybe when we get towards the end, Gohan will be the one to say something. Could be an interesting theory. Interested to see how that goes. And this episode, judging by the preview, is going to be a Goku and Hit tag team. Um, it looks like Hit is going to be paired up to go against Dispo, one of the Pride Troopers. And I'm trying to see... is. Dispo going to be so fast that Hit's time skip is not benefiting him because he's so fast? Or does Hit get ganged up on by multiple pride troopers where they're like holding him down and restraining him from time skipping? And that's why Goku steps in. So I'm interested to see what happens. How is it that Hit gets stopped? Because you would think Hit is in one of the, like the top five strongest fighters in the tournament. Um... So it should be interesting. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Episode 104. We are watching this on Crunchyroll today. Recording, recording. Let's make sure that that is recording. Voice. Huh? Webcam. Boom, boom, boom. All right. We're hitting play on Episode 104. The ultimate high-speed battle begins right now. <clears throat> and then again, like, I'm going to talk about Game of Thrones spoilers in tomorrow's video, but um, I cannot escape spoilers even if I, like, I don't even go looking for them. I, Game of Thrones spoilers are in my face. Dragon Ball super spoilers are in my face. Um, and there's just nothing I can do to get away from them because I, I scroll down on my Facebook. They're there. I scroll through YouTube. They're there. I don't even search for things on YouTube. And it's on suggested things, and it's like, it's so hard to escape. That Again, some of the spoilers that I thought were spoilers months ago, when they finally, when it came time for that to show up in the episode, wasn't what people were speculating it was. Um, so again, what's true, what's not, I have no idea. I'm not going to mention what I saw or what I didn't see, what I read and didn't read, what I read and didn't read. Um, just a lot of nonsense going on out there. So again, I try to stay away from it as much as I can. <clears throat> but sometimes it's just there when you're scrolling through a Facebook timeline and like I'm not even subscribed or I like anything on Facebook Dragon Ball related and I have people that I'm friends with that don't even watch it that just post images of things and it's absolutely crazy but we'll see I'm trying to think if the rest of the Pride Troopers minus Topo and Jiren get knocked out this episode. Because what do they have? Four left? I think there's four Pride Troopers left. And that's it for Universe 11. So I'm thinking that maybe... So are two Pride Troopers going to be able to hold Hit down? Or is it like a Jiren Topo come in and like slow him down and then the other two hold him up? It should be... <clears throat> should be interesting to see. Because... I think it's safe to say Hit is in, like, the top five from what we've seen. I'm not going to put it in any order, but, I mean, we could go Vegeta, Goku, Golden Frieza, Topo, Jiren, and then maybe put Hit in the top six, Hit in the top seven, maybe put Kale above him right next to him. I don't think Gohan is the strongest Hit, but mm, it should be interesting. But even then, <clears throat> I don't think Goku and Hit should struggle at all tag teaming up because they're two of the top fighters. And that's another thing. Goku goes regular Super Saiyan God form. Like the movie. Red hair, slimmer, not his buff figure, more childlike looking face. Um, but it was pretty much, you couldn't achieve that mode unless you were given the power from five or six Saiyans. So I think there's enough Saiyans present here. But I don't think they have enough time to run that whole ritual. So can Goku access this power without? I, I don't know. Here we go. Episode title. The ultimate high-speed battle begins. Goku and Hit join forces right now.
I really hope the whole episode is them fighting. And just not like not the last five minutes. <clears throat> How does he know his name? Dispo. Wow, he knows his moves and everything? How does he know that? Because they've never seen Hit before. They've never seen Hit fight. Except for in the tournament. He's done the time skip a couple times. But he knows it by name. He knows what it does. That's interesting. Cauliflower and Kale, are you guys going to back him up? Or are you just going to watch? Damn, Cauliflower and Kale look really beat up. I love how this is always hit stance. Animation looks great. I'm more a fan of the more solid lines than the like fluid water motion animation. What the fuck? He knew exactly where he was going to go, like when Goku broke it the first time in the tournament. How the hell? Yeah, my face is just like Shampa's. What the hell? Damn, he really got busted up. But we know Hit has upped his speed to, like, Super Saiyan Blue able to time skip. Like, he's up to about, like, five seconds. And I don't... <laughs> Shomp and Beers are cats. That man's a damn rabbit. I need to find out more. Why is this happening? He's like, he's like doing a time skip of his own and it's faster. I can't tell if it's straight speed or if it's a technique like hits. That's another thing with hit though. We've never really seen him be good in just straight up brute work. Like just straight slugging it out. We've seen hit like when he gets hit a couple times, he really like, Was it slow-mo? Oh my god, they're busting out god tube videos. <clears throat> I can't tell if he's... Because Goku did it with straight speed. He just upped it. Up to Super Saiyan Blue. Put the Kaioken on it. I think it's just straight speed. I don't think it's a technique. I think he's just that fast. I will right, well, hit. Hit's got to have something else. Like you're supposed to be this great warrior, not everything's gonna work. You better have something else. Damn. He's probably faster than Goku.
I wasn't liking his attitude at first, but I'm kind of liking Dispo's attitude right now. What happened? <sighs> He's getting bodied right now. It's like the perfect hit counter. Okay. Just make it. Well, make it not make a sound. Or do that. He just asked for a Vuvuzela like he's at a damn World Cup soccer match. <clears throat> I feel like he doesn't hit hard, though. I just feel like hit can't take hits. God, he's getting worked. This is how it usually looks like when Hit is fighting somebody. They really are tag team in his ass. I mean, he was able to increase his time skip and his speed up to Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken in the middle of the tournament last time. <clears throat> He's got like in fight training. That was damn close. Is he really out? No, that's just where the previews comes in. I think that guy has like these Wonder Woman lasso whips. He's going to grab his ass and bring him back in. Is he really out? Oh, the damn commercial. I can't tell if he, he really might be out right there. Because um, we saw in the preview that guy used those like yellow threads, but... He's out. Oh my God, he did grab him back in. Oh. He was so far down though, you figure like it was pretty much over. He's Spider-Man. My man is Spider-Man. What are these damn key threads? I'm trying to think where does Goku come in in all this? Does he just show up? Or does he see him getting his ass beat from afar? Because we're already halfway through the episode. If Goku's going to come in and transform and knock them out, they better flip and get going. It looks like he's adapted to that speed. Damn. Damn.
Why doesn't where's cauliflower and kale? Y'all want to help out? There they are. She needs to go help. Does it? Does she get in there? Or does cauliflower get in there? Or is it Goku? It's Goku. Okay, explain to me this form, Goku. Why this form choice? Everybody told me, oh, he can heal himself and he'll conserve energy compared to blue. Then why the hell did he go blue earlier in the tournament so many times? When he did knock up the tree to danger, when he broke out of that guy holding him, when he fought Kale, why didn't he just amp it up to here? I don't know. They have the God theme playing in it. Every... They didn't show in Transform either. Yeah, it consumes less stamina than blue. Okay, so they acknowledged it in the anime. Because I know they said that in the... Everyone said they said that in the manga. They didn't say it. They never stated that in the anime. I don't think they ever stated that that conserves more energy. Okay. Yo, someone get rid of the damn weakling in the back. Damn, you tried to instant transmission, you couldn't even get it off. And then he switches to blue? What the hell is going on? He's too predictable. He's going back and forth. So he's just going to choose when to amp it up and amp it back down and amp it up and amp it back down. He should be able to time skip right up into that man's face, though. Oh, my man's over here punching through dimensions and shit. I totally forgot about that. I really, I'm really afraid that Topo or Jiren are going to jump down and just flick, hit off. Get rid of one of them first. I say get rid of the weaker one of the two. Damn, hit's moving. Can he match the speed yet? He got him. It's just like when he fought Goku. He's just, he's like training while fighting. He didn't even time skip. This guy should be no problem. What the hell is that mountain of threat? And then we go blue. Okay, so he's just going right through the explosions. Wow, Super Saiyan Blue just cloaked him. Jeez. 
Jesus. Oh my god, Goku is... This is what you would expect. He got him. I have a feeling this is this is going way too good for us for both of them to make it out of here. Oh my god, now this looks like Vegeta all over again. Getting just bodied up. I really hope Topo Jiren don't jump in and fuck up hit. There's no way it makes Someone's grabbing him for sure. Yeah, that's what I figured. Take them both out at the same time. Don't tell me they make it out of here. They go through the whole episode and we don't... He's out. Dipso didn't just jump off the stage, didn't they? Dipso made it out of that whole episode. They have three left. Pretty much their three best. We've already seen the best Dipso has to offer. Topo getting serious. And now Goku's back in base form. Here's the thing. We never really got to see how strong Topo was. Um... Because remember when Goku powered up to blue and they were about to get that, like, real deadly blow... The Grand Prix stopped them. Maybe his limit is blue. Maybe it's above blue. I know he's supposed to be uh, next in line for God of Destruction. So you got to have some kind of strength. How much time is left? They're really building up a Goku and Hit final battle. Like we don't have Goku and Jiren to get through. 35 minutes left. I'm really happy that that whole episode was dedicated to uh, to that fight, though. That was pretty good. That was definitely better than last week's episode. I think it was getting to see uh, it. Got, so that man must have been that fast. I would have really liked to see um, hitting him still go at it. And there's so many matchups you want to see, but you know you probably won't get. Like, I don't think we'll see a hit in a Topo, or like a Vegeta Topo, or Frieza, Jiren. Oh, man, Golden Frieza and Jiren matchup would be... Who knows? I mean, we still don't even know how strong Jiren is. He could be ten times stronger than Frieza. We have no idea. Um, but I'm really glad that um, Hit didn't get knocked off. But... Remember Kale and Cauliflower talking. Kale was saying that Cauliflower is like really needs to like get her energy back. Are they beat up that badly from that last um, exchange? Because both of them look white. Like they don't look like they could transform. Episode preview. Master Roshi. Who the hell is that? Universe 4. I saw Magetta. Don't die, Master Roshi? What?
oh my god, he's fighting a girl and his face is blushing and they're talking about Master Roshi not dying. Um, I'm really hoping that... Let me go ahead and stop that. Um, Roshi's able to handle himself because they've really been building up his training and he's able to fight off girls. Uh, but it's looking like maybe he sacrifices himself to take out two at a time or something like that because Universe 4, which is Quatella's universe, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, because two is the two is the female goddess, the Egyptian looking chick. Three, that was um the trio to danger. So four is Quatella. I think they're pretty low on fighters, too. Um, so maybe we get a universe erase next episode. Maybe Roshi does something to where he takes out the final three, but takes himself out at the same time. Um, I couldn't tell if he had that spy guy trapped in his um a little electricity lightning barrier that he's been doing or if that was that guy powering up i'm not sure it should be pretty interesting it was crazy to see what i didn't get was um are we gonna see super saiyan god form again this whole tournament or anytime soon because they showed it wiss explained it he said this is a better way to conserve stamina than blue and then we see he's using blue to charge right through that guy for the whole time he had to charge through all those explosions and battle and he had to power up to fight uh dispo and so it's like what was the point of going red to save you energy for 30 seconds maybe a minute max i, I don't know if they just did that just to throw it in or are we going to see it again because he was blue like the rest of the time he maybe changed back once or twice but he kept powering it up and powering down and powering it back up it's like how much energy is that really saving who knows? I thought it looked pretty cool, though. That whole, like, fire aura, it always looks great. So let me know what you guys thought of the episode. Question is, do you think we'll see that form again? Because a lot of speculation out there that Goku has a new form. Is it going to be, like, a mastered Super Saiyan Blue to where it doesn't waste energy like it was just stated? Is it just going to be a step above Super Saiyan Blue but doesn't do anything, like, saving energy-wise? I'm interested to see what happens. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, favorite, subscribe. And as always...